everybody, it's Hannah Faye. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to properly remove a CPU cooler and if you're so unlucky, how to remove a processor that is stuck to a CPU cooler. Now, some of you guys might think, hey, wait a minute, didn't you do a video like this before? Like one of my first videos was something similar to this. However, that video, I didn't really have a plan going into it. My only plan going into that video was to explain the components of the computer and just see what was in there because I didn't even know. I didn't know that I was gonna have to uh, take the processor off of the cooler. I ended up removing the CPU cooler with the processor stuck because I removed the CPU cooler wrong. I wanted to come back and hopefully uh, get my shot at redemption because this time I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way and I promise you, this is the right way. So let's do it. One of my first videos, I showed you guys how to remove a CPU cooler that's stuck to a processor and a lot of you guys didn't like it. And that's because I didn't actually do it right. So you know what? Here I am to, uh, to right my wrongs. Let's say that. On either side of your CPU cooler will be these little clips on the side. There will be a little lever. Undo that lever so it's loose and then Make sure that on both sides, it, the metal part comes off of the brace, like so. And then what you wanna do is super gently twist your CPU cooler, super gently twist it. And you're probably gonna feel some resistance and that's because you put thermal paste onto the processor between the CPU cooler and the processor, there's a layer of thermal paste and they call it thermal paste for a reason. Very, very gently twist. Like I said, there's probably gonna be some resistance. If you watched my first video, this would be the part where I got tired of trying and I ended up unscrewing these mounting brackets and just pulled the whole dang thing off. And that's where people got mad at me. And you know what? I understand. So you're gonna wanna gently twist it. And you can kind of feel it loosening there. So just gently twist it back and forth. Don't put a lot of pressure on it. And that is how you properly take off a CPU cooler. Now, Okay, I'm gonna show you something. Like, let's say that this was stuck to this. Do not touch the pins, okay? Don't touch the pins or processor. I am being a little reckless with this processor because it does not work. You, at home, be careful. So anyway, let's move the motherboard. And what we would do, let's say we remove the cooler and the processor was still stuck like that. What you do in this case, is you get some dental floss, get some unflavored, um, just the plainest floss that you can find. And then you can very easily slip it between the processor and the cooler and just, just like you're flossing your teeth, you can pop it off that way. These are the correct methods to uh, remove CPUs um, if they're stuck to your cooler. And that's also the correct method on how to actually remove a cooler. Uh, so I, I've said it a million times before, I am a software engineer. Hardware was never my specialty. From now on, I promise you that I will take time to really ensure that I know exactly what it is that I'm doing so that I don't give you guys bad advice. My uh, shot at redemption, I guess. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You know, if you have any questions, comment down below. Make sure you give me a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.